As a matter of fact, in most situations, you will be able to answer this question with the help of echocardiography. So let's take a look at some of the causes why the right ventral can be enlarged in the first place. Pulmonary hypertension. We talked about that already in the chapter on physiology. In this situation, you usually will have the first reaction of the ventricle to dilate. In tricuspid regurgitation, here we have volume overload. The same holds true for an atrial septal defect where you will also have volume overload. In patients with dilated cardiomyopathy, either because they have increased pulmonary pressures or because the right ventricle was involved in cardiomyopathy as well. In myocarditis, you might have isolated myocarditis of the right ventricle as well. And then if you have a patient, for example, who had an inferior infarct where the right ventricle was involved, then too you will see a dilated right ventricle. In patients with pulmonary embolism, remember I told you that the right ventricle is not able to cope with an acute pressure overload. In this situation, the first sign will be a dilatation. And then in diseases such as right ventricle dysplasia, where there is fatty infiltration of the right ventricular wall, you will also see a dilatation of the right ventricle. So all of the pathologies I showed you here, you can probably diagnose or at least find indicators that this is present in the echocardiogram, especially if you combine it with the clinical symptoms and the scenario in which the patient presents.